Welcome back, folks. That sun's finally popped out, and we are ready to harvest. Here on Mason Creek 19, Farming Simulator 19, folks, your host, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. How y'all doing, folks? Let's get this bad boy fired up. I don't know what kind of arrangement we're going to get, but I'm going to do... Um... Um... Uh, 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 course play everything should be good to go this is field 27 so we are on a worker there yeah yeah course generation and then we gotta go field 27 I want three headlands from this guy Gonna start working on headlands. We're 9.6. It's over land overlap is seven percent. I'm gonna knock this down to nine meters. That way it will well with that and this it'll make sure our turns will be somewhat okay. <sighs> As a uh, I'll try to put it in a, in a screen here somewhere. But Ice Demon said that we need to at least some more ground. He is right. But we need to get some bigger equipment too. And right now, Field 27 and Field 9 is our money makers for helping people out. So, yeah. Now, this thing's going to take a while. So, I'll probably be back when it loads, folks. All right, folks, I don't know if there's any way that you can <laughs> go over here and check, see how many tenths of an hour it took for this to load, because it was around 10 o'clock, and now it's 10.48. been sitting and waiting on this thing to load. I done went use the bathroom, uh, found out my dryer's not spinning. It's heating and, and everything, but it's just not spinning the clothes, so I got deal with that here pretty soon and uh yeah um there's supposed to be a way that you can tell how long this is going to take um but i'm gonna go ahead and save this um field 27 and what was it nine meter I think what it was. So I'm just going to put a dash right there and put uh, a 9 and a big M and hit enter. I said hit enter. Save it. Save. Okay. I might have a problem here, folks. Alright. I'll be right back when it decides to do something. Alright, folks. It, it, it's saved. So, uh, it's supposed to tell the time down here, uh, how long it's going to take, but I, I just don't know. Um, but yeah, this is your, uh, request driver for the grain cart and stuff. I don't think we're going to do all that. Uh, turning speed, and this is your, uh, show waypoints, advanced set, and stuff like that, and uh, waiting time. It is it, this bunch of stuff here that you can go through to uh, really get a full thing out of the course play. But we're gonna go ahead and start. So what are we on? Uh, nearest waypoint. Where's our first waypoint? Um, that should be it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on first waypoint and we are laggy let's turn that off yeah look how much better it got see 
we're just going to back up here and uh this is just going to be our secondary we're just going to get around the way around the mm, corners with this we don't have access to this land why not why not Bill 27 it's active Ooh, another sewing mission anyway we'll get that here in a second Okay, it's letting me cut it. That's good. Okay, first waypoint. We're going to drive, of course. Oh, please come on. Whew. Excuse me, folks. All right, we're going to stop at the last waypoint. And we are dropping straw. Um, right here. That can't, let's see. That is seconds, so that would be minutes. 13 hours. 13 hours, folks, to, to do this field. All right, before he gets too far, I want to come over here and get her seven more and a grain cart. That is a little laggy, ain't it? Well, welcome, Mr. Blue. All my videos are laggy, except for my vlogs. Which I'm going to try to start doing some more. I know I said that before, but... Alright. We'll get this guy on Follow Me. And then that guy there, the Combine's going to go the other way. And, uh, try to get the far end over there done. Okay. And control F and we're going to take that back about 60 just to make sure. Alright. I'm going to get this bigger one going. I don't know how much of this I'm going to record. Probably do a lot of behind the screen or off screen, whatever. And, uh, folks, this I'm warning you right now you don't have to watch this video if you're about to be realistic because this is not going to be realistic. I was going to measure this head and see how big it was right now because, uh, when you unfold it, you get. Three headers and one. Oh my. Let's get busy, folks. So I want to hold that back in just so I can get past. Which I, I think it's no collision on the outers. But, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, I'll be back in a second, folks. I'm going to get around the green tanks here. Alright folks, I got everything uh, locked on. GPS is locking on. And let me bring that down just in case y'all want to see that. Um, yeah, let's drop that stir off, shall we? And just to show y'all this, I did not know it had the Octopus Prime, uh, I mean the Autobots logo right here on the header. That was pretty neat, I thought. And, yep, it's good on this side, too. This header is pretty neat. I know it's not realistic. But, folks, we might end up keeping this just for our contract missions. Or, uh, yeah, our harvesting missions. And it'll help us get done a lot faster. As you can see, it's already making the combine look full, but it's not. It's would be full if it was a regular combine. How much does this hold anyway? It, uh, I guess you can't change it while... Uh-oh. 
No, 350, or 7R, in other words, is blocking. I don't know, it's because of the combine. 9610 is not moving, so. It's the only thing I hate about this. This here, I cannot hire a worker. So. That, that's the downside to it. You cannot do uh, AI worker, because it only, as you can see right there, well, the beans are coming in. They don't do it all the way across. Well, the AI worker only accepts the middle part of this as an actual working part. Along with course play, course play will not work on it at all. Uh, just the the part that's in the middle there. It's the only part that works. That's why I'm saying it's not realistic. But look how much ground we are getting done. And we don't have very much time either. Uh oh, and yeah, that that happens too when you get in a valley. Yeah. But I really need a baler behind me. So we're going to stop. Let's go ahead and shut the head off. I'm gonna shut the combine off. And we, of course, saving. All right, I went ahead and accepted the sewing mission for twenty-eight thousand. I'm gonna put weed in on field twenty-six. Um, I did the same thing for field nine for one hundred seventy-two thousand folks. We're gonna collect that. And field thirty-nine is uh, a harvesting. Um, get it on there. Now we got 2,216 deducted because we uh, used the combine, which we didn't have to, but I wanted an extra semi truck. So uh, we're going to collect that. And I also took some uh, beans to the cows off that. So we got two right now we're worried about. Um, yeah, they didn't get very far, did they? And a vehicle. Uh, control F, and then we'll back up. Guess better make sure nobody's behind me. And there he goes. He's gonna. He saved just enough where he can scoot over there and let me up to unload him. Who's in there? I, I can't see for all the dust. Put your pipe out. I'll get under. Um, we have another auger wagon. Yeah, I know you need to be unloaded. Stick your pipe out. I hate driving close like that because if I get too close, it'll hit the wagon or the auger cart. But it's already 13 minutes in, folks. Um, I don't want it to bore y'all about all the good stuff. But um, let's go in here and go to our garage. We're going to make sure we ain't got too much leased. Come on. Okay, that, that's the header by I Iconic. I think that's how you say it. Ionic. Whatever it is. But and what's it? Papa Smurf is a credit, and it's uh, where is it? Where is it? Where? Twenty-four miles per hour. Oh, I'm on the combine. Duh. The header is thirty-six meters, sixteen mile an hour. So yeah. Um, depending on how long it takes, we might rent a forage harvester. So we mow some grass and turn it into silage. And I I should put this uh, SMR on a uh, horseplay route, but I think the field's going to be too big. So Control F, 
and I am going to push that back to 70 meters and uh, let's let them have some fun but this is the truck I bought I do not know um, let's go back in here real quick to our uh, garage uh, show you what all we got so far still got quite a few tractors we still got these guys I'm thinking about go ahead and sell them and these are the two trucks uh, one you've seen already and then I bought another one uh, that's probably one I bought since it's still good for, and that's what it would be if I sell it uh, I like them I know it didn't give very much for them they are you know like an 80 I think an 89 model truck so um, here's our 9610 trying to show you a few things that might go bye bye wait did I got two of those I don't recall having two of those oh I don't that's the back and that's the front I forgot you this right here you can sell that separate I don't know why and oh yeah uh, the uh, boom to the sprayer I had to change it out let's see here's the one we got it shows the whole grain and stuff so I'm gonna try it but I'm gonna insert a little clip right about uh, hang on a second let me get where I need to be uh, about right here I'll try to put the clip right in here so y'all can tell the difference um, take lime off of course I don't think none of it feels lime anyway come on change there we go there's one spot of weed right there <laughs> grass gra you know not weed weed that you smoke but you know weeds in the grass uh, you'll see the picture right over here where I sprayed with the 2020 version of the boom compared to the old version of the boom I went back over everything and you'll see over here that it is a uh, spotted pink and this right here is all all blue now that boom was messed up somehow some way when it comes to herbicides I don't know why I'm going back in that I need to uh, I'm gonna get this truck to the field for the uh, bigger combine and use our, our older one for the other combine and I gotta get a course play route to Lauderdale grain so yeah, I will be back in a little bit, folks. Or, well, folks, uh, I am finished with field 26 sewing for 28,000. So we're going to collect that. And we got field 27 left, which is 18% done. Uh, done hauled two loads over there. And uh, as you can see, this, in here, this truck here will hold 100,000. And uh, yeah, that that's that's not <laughs> like I said, it's not realistic, folks. Yeah, that header's all right, though. It, it gets the job done. By the way, yeah. But we got uh, Baylor behind us. We got all caught up with the combine, and you can see how many bells we got. One. Well, let's get out and count them real quick while. That's offloading. Uh, God, we need to wash our vehicles. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and probably eleven or twelve. I know what we can jump in here because it's showing ten. Okay, ten bells made. Um, jumping this truck, as you can see, Heifer Sarah is on her way back. She is empty. This truck here holds, I think, 130, 130,000. Uh, I can't see it because of hired worker, but. And this truck here holds 100,000. And it's so slow about unloading, folks. The combine, it, it's got so much in it. Look, 77,000 still unloaded. I think I had 107,000 when I started. 
So it's not bad. You know, it gives you time to catch up on stuff and everything. But I think I'm going to... It's 1515, which is 315 in the evening. I might get done before dark. We'll pretty much get this corner right here done and we'll be on long rows as you see all the way back across there I'm not running the 9610 something's making a racket uh, Mr. Yankee said hey we need to shut this down I'm like let's shut it down let's see what's wrong with it and you can get it going we can if not you know it's no biggie so but yeah I hope it, there's no bad feelings folks with this header it's uh, nice to have something this big. And you can see our GPS lines. It, it covers some ground, folks. It really does. It's just unloading. I need to find out what combine this is, which I know it's uh, S790, as you can see right here. S790. That's nice, but I don't know if it's by Custom Modern or by JAHD, but it's an awesome combine. Now, folks, next year, I'm thinking we're going to get two of these combines. Now, we won't be going with these header, with this header. We're going to be going with a McDon 45-foot Draper header. So, but anyway, I'm going to... Go ahead and call this the episode because I don't want it to be so long. So, yeah. Uh, when I come back, and I'll probably be way over there somewhere if I get time. I got some things outside I got to do. Push my dryer. Got to get that uh, old one out and see what's wrong with it. And We got another one in storage, but it's about as old. So, ain't no telling, folks. But anyway, appreciate each and every one of y'all taking your time out to watch my videos in full and if you didn't make it this far put down there hey full watch but anyway y'all have a great day a blessed day mr blue will see you in the next episode folks later